To install Jupyter Notebook on Windows 11 operating system, just ensure that you have already installed Python and pip. And you can run the command pip install Jupyter in your terminal. It will install all Jupyter components including Jupyter Notebook, Jupyter Lab, IPY kernel and others. To launch Notebook, you can just run Jupyter space notebook in terminal so let's first install python for this search python go for python.org click on downloads then download python 3.13.0 it will download python installer open it double click Check these two checkboxes. Second one is very important. It will add Python to your system variable path. We have already created a video on how to install Python latest version 3.13.0. You can go and watch in detail. You can go for install now, but it will install for this user only. We need to install Python for all users. So we go for the customized installation. Click on it. Here we have optional features. We need to check all these. Pip is very important. We will use pip to install Jupyter. Click for all users. It's very important. Click next. Again here adva in advanced options. We have to check this. Python for all users. Now click on install. Click yes. And our Python setup is in process. It may take a couple of minutes. So we will wait for it. Now our Python installation is successful. You can close it. Open command prompt. Write Python space hyphen hyphen version. Press enter. It shows that we have installed Python successfully. Let's check that we have installed Python for all users. So just change the user binary study and check for Python version. We have installed Python for all users. With Python, we have installed pip also. So let's check that our pip is installed successfully or not. Press enter. Yes, we have installed pip 24.2. So now we have installed python and pip successfully. Let's now install Jupyter using pip command. So before that let's check pip list. So we have only pip. To install Jupyter notebook we will use pip install Jupyter. It will install all Jupyter components such as Jupyter notebook, Jupyter lab, IPY kernel and others. If you want to install only notebook then you can write pip install notebook but we are going to install all the components of jupyter so we'll write pip install jupyter press enter so we are getting some warnings that uh, the script this is installed in this which is not on path so what we will do we will copy and add to system environment path. So for that, search environment, environment variable, click on environment variable under advanced. It will open user variables for this and system variable. So what we will do, we will add this path to system variable. We will search for path, path is here double click it will open two python paths are added here but we need to add this path also so what we will do we will add two paths so add new this one is script one also and one up to here okay again we have to add new but now up to python 313 so let's check whether our jupyter notebook is successfully installed or not so what we will do we will write jupyter notebook this shows that jupyter is not recognized 
it is because we have added python to the system environment variable so we need to relaunch cmd command prompt so let's open new command prompt and let's try to launch jupyter notebook using jupyter notebook press enter yes we are successfully launched jupyter notebook so here you can create new file so your new is there you can choose python 3 ipy kernel here in the cell you can run your python script so let's print hello world you can click here to run the cell and you can also run using shift shift enter and also using control enter so shift enter it prints hello world so we have successfully run our first program you can also click here and you can rename it test notebook click rename you can save it save notebook you can press ctrl c to stop the kernel we have checked for this user now let's check for the other user just write jupyter notebook yes so we have successfully installed jupyter notebook on windows operating system we are using windows 11 and we have also installed python and jupyter notebook for all users on our system thanks for watching this video